Space, once the final frontier, can now be brought into your own front room. Where do you want to go? Where can we go? Anywhere in the universe. Even Mars? Yep, even Mars. Let's go there, then. Space Simulator, from the Microsoft Home Software range, is quite literally out of this world. Based on information and images from NASA Five, and other six, leading authorities, Four, three, two, one. it lets you wander through the Milky Way, explore the solar system, even land on other planets. Better set the orbit. I don't want to burn up in the atmosphere. In fact, the experience of space is so real, it's like you're actually there. minutes. Yeah, um, just coming. You can stretch your legs and take a few giant steps with the manned maneuvering unit. Can I have a go? Sure. And once Mars loses its appeal, why not pay the rest of the galaxy a visit? With Space Simulator, you can see what the galaxy looks like 100,000 years in the past or future or use the observatory to inspect the outer reaches of space. Or challenge your skills by completing missions like landing on the moon. Steady. We're going in exactly... Shh! Watch out, you're turning upside down. Good. The eagle has landed. Well done. That's fantastic. Microsoft Space Simulator. It's out of this world. Incredible. What? People really went to the moon in that? Incredible. Microsoft home software titles like Space Simulator don't just give fascinating insights into other worlds. They encourage you to go out and explore your world, too. You think they managed to land it the right way up, eh? Hey? Yeah, would have made a right mess otherwise. Like a cat. What? Landing on its feet. A cat always lands on its feet, even if it starts falling upside down. <laughs> you don't believe me. <sighs> See? They use their tails to balance them. Oh. Welcome to Encarta. Starting with the contents of a 28-volume encyclopedia on a single CD with over 9 million words and an additional 26,000 articles, all available at the click of a mouse. There's loads of different kinds. Yes. But Encarta's more than just an encyclopedia. There are more than 15,000 pieces of animation, video clips, maps, charts, sounds and pictures that make the information come alive. The heart is a muscular organ that pumps blood to all parts of the body. Fast-paced and action-packed. Basketball is one of the most popular sports in the world. Winds of 100 miles an hour and upwards. People have long known the destructive nature of hurricanes. These storms bringing heavy winds. Genetically, things break. Mom? Uh-huh. You know Winston Churchill. Yes. Well, not personally. What was he like? I remember doing him at school. Well, don't ask me. Ask him Carter. You know how. I think Jenny's about done now. And Carter's so easy to use, you'll wonder how you ever managed to get by without it. Click on the relevant icon and yeah. you'll get more than a book can give you. Let us therefore brace ourselves to our duty. A living insight into your chosen so topic. We are ourselves that if the British Empire... And, if you want, text, images and sounds can be used for school or work reports and other documents. This was our finest hour. 
He resigned his cavalry commission in 1899 to become a correspondent during the Boer War. Mm. Let's look up Boer. Okay. Another click and cross-referenced material can be viewed at a glance, taking you off on endless journeys of discovery and learning. South Africa. Let there be justice for all. Let there be peace for all. Zebras, they're just like horses, except they have stripes. <laughs> Encarta is updated annually to give you and your family quick and easy access to a wealth of definitive information. Can I have a horse, Mum? Please, just a small one. Steve! Hi! What brings you here? She persuaded her mother riding lessons would be a good idea. Ah. Personally, I blame Microsoft. Well, we've got this encyclopedia on computer, Encarta. It gives the kids all sorts of ideas. But that's good, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. Well, you'll never catch me on one of those. I thought that's why you came here. I mean a computer. <laughs> Technophobia, it's my middle name. Ah, oh, well, I was the same. But this stuff from Microsoft's incredible. I mean, if the kids can use it, anyone can. Microsoft's Fine Artist is all about encouraging children to use their imagination and draw creatively. Don't worry, if they get stuck or run out of ideas, help's at hand every step of the way. They can visit the top floor for basic lessons, drawing tips and lessons in 3D. Or they can slide down the pole and go wild with the dozens of different brush styles, animations and clickable hotspots, not forgetting the joke teller. And Fine Artist is complemented by Creative Writer, a fun-packed way of helping children create great writing projects from an early age. And as well as visual stimuli, there are prompts to help if coming up with the first line stops them getting started. With Fine Artist and Creative Writer, your children can experience a sense of achievement, the plain, simple fun of creating an original, polished and professional-looking work of art. Microsoft has software for everyone. There are over 40 home titles available. And here's some highlights from the range. If you want to learn how to draw like an Egyptian, just take a look at Ancient Lands, Microsoft's amazing interactive journey through the lives and culture of the ancient civilizations of Egypt, Rome and Greece, and their impact on our lives today. An ordinary tomb was not considered good enough for a wealthy Roman. To begin your exploration of the movies, just click. Cinemania, the ultimate guide to the movies, with thousands of entries on movie stars, directors and writers, and details on over 19,000 films. Microsoft Publisher has been designed to create stunning newsletters, banners and much more. All you supply is the words and graphics, and this easy-to-use desktop publisher does the rest. The result? Eye-catching professional quality every time. Or if you want to learn to fly, Flight Simulator is the world's most popular and realistic flight adventure for the PC. It's in a league of its own. Just about the only thing about Flight Simulator that isn't completely true to life is that if you make a mistake, you can simply press a button and start again. But if you want something to keep your feet firmly on the ground, Microsoft Works will help you with your home and business management. 
It has a powerful word processor, spreadsheet with charting, a database, drawing module and communications module. All easy to learn and easy to use and in a single integrated package. And when you need to relax, have a round of golf. Microsoft has a great range of games for the PC. In fact, Microsoft Golf is almost as challenging as the game itself. It's in the rough. If you can't get your swing right, how about trying a tune? If it's a different sort of challenge you want, how about a few bars on the Samison, Xylophone or Conch Shell? Microsoft's Musical Instruments is an interactive journey through the fascinating sights and sounds of more than 200 musical instruments from around the world. And for the ultimate biology lesson, there's Magic School Bus. Fasten your seatbelts as you take an incredible trip inside a real human body. For many people, though, managing their finances can be taxing enough. Microsoft Money offers a complete set of money management and planning tools to help you take control of your finances quickly and easily. Hi. Hi. This is brilliant. What? Money? According to this, if we don't take a holiday and pay off the car loan instead, you get that pay rise and I work an extra morning each week. By the end of the year, we should have enough to get a mortgage on a house. Oh, is that all? Anyway, we don't need a house. Well, it would be worth the effort, and prices are quite good right now. Hang on. What's this? I know how you love original works of art, so I bought you the entire gallery. If you've ever longed for a private viewing of one of the greatest collections of paintings in the world, take a look at Microsoft Art Gallery. Presenting over 2,000 paintings from the National Gallery London, it offers you unparalleled access to some of the most magnificent works of all time. Roger van der Weyden, who painted this picture, trained, as all artists did, with a master whom he served for five years as an apprentice. Gruesome! Yeah! Look at all those Dangerous kids. Creatures introduces you to some of the world's most fascinating wildlife and their habitat. Feast your eyes and ears on a hundred full-motion narrated video clips. Sharks have lived on Earth since dinosaur times, and they haven't changed much for millions of years. Hundreds of photos and illustrations and, probably most <laughs> impressive of all, hours of sounds that capture the full atmosphere of life in the wild. Altogether, Dangerous Creatures spotlights 250 of nature's most interesting and dangerous inhabitants, plus the environments that support them. You can find out about them by putting yourself in the hands of a trusty guide. You've got to watch out. You can spot dinner from a long way off. You can explore their habitats or the weapons they use to defend themselves and attack others. And best of all, you can help the worldwide fund for nature because for every CD sold, we'll contribute a percentage to this most deserving of causes. Cats of endangered species around the world. Let's have a look at the rhinos. Okay. Microsoft Dangerous Creatures. It's as close to the wild as you can get and still be safe. With their thick hides and sharp horns, rhinos may look tough, but they're no match for bullets. Wouldn't it be allowed locking them up like this? Much better off in the jungle where they belong. Actually, they don't live in the jungle. They live in open grassland and they eat branches and twigs. You seem to know a lot about it. Dangerous creatures. They are indeed. Microsoft Home Software. Fire your imagination. Feed your mind. 
You may be thinking, great, but where do I start? Well, it's not that difficult, and if I can master it, anyone can. So here's a quick look at the computer specifications we recommend to run the software we've been showing you. But just before you watch this section, you may like to pause the video and get the leaflet accompanying it so that you can make notes. We recommend a multimedia personal computer which has a 486SX processor running at 25 megahertz with four megabytes of RAM, a 120 megabyte hard disk, a three and a half inch high density disk drive, a VGA or Super VGA monitor, Microsoft Windows 3.1 or later, MS-DOS 3.2 or later, a Microsoft mouse or compatible pointing device, a CD-ROM drive which is dual speed or faster to MPC2 specification, a soundboard, and speakers or headphones. Shopping for a computer can seem confusing, so we'd like to take some of the mystery out of it so you feel a little more comfortable when you go to buy a computer. This is the CPU, or the central processing unit of a computer. Lots of the words that people use about computers really apply to this part of the system. For instance, the main brain of your computer is powered by the chip in your machine. To get the power you need to run the software you've just seen, as well as all the popular business applications, plan to get at least a 486. Chips also have the speed measured in megahertz. For instance, when you're running a multimedia program like in Carter, the pictures and sound will come up faster if you have a higher speed chip. We recommend a minimum speed of 25 megahertz to satisfy most people's needs. You often hear people talk about the memory of a computer. The more random access memory or RAM you have, the more you can do with your computer. For instance, you can run more powerful software and use several programs at once. Also, each program has a minimum memory requirement. All the software you've seen in this video will run with four megabytes of memory. The hard disk is where you store your software, and every program takes up a certain amount of space. To give you the most flexibility in selecting and running software, we'd recommend that you choose the largest hard disk you can afford. The majority of software comes on floppy disk, and the most widespread format is three and a half inch. Therefore, you'll need to ensure that your new PC has a three and a half inch floppy disk drive. Multimedia is the combination of video, text and graphics within software. Most of the multimedia software we showed you requires an additional disk drive called a CD-ROM. CD-ROM disks look like normal music CDs. CD-ROM software disks have a much greater capacity than standard three and a half inch floppy disks. And that's why the rich sound and picture-filled multimedia software we've shown you runs on CD-ROM. Lots of multimedia learning and game software incorporate sound. If you want to get the most from these titles, your system should include a multimedia-compatible soundboard and self-powered speakers. Don't worry if all this sounds like more than you could possibly remember. Some of the top computer companies have put together systems that have all the features you need to enjoy multimedia computing. Just ask for a multimedia PC or refer to the accompanying leaflet. If you'd like any further information, why not contact your local retailer? The details are enclosed with this video.